Today we'll look how to install the popular video tool FFmpeg on Windows. First, visit the project website, ffmpeg.org, click download, and then down below, hover over the Windows icon. From here, you can click on the Windows Builds by BTBN, and this will bring you to a GitHub page with daily builds. If we scroll down, currently there's only one Windows download, so it's pretty obvious which one to get. I'll click on this Win64 GPL, and I'll save it to my computer. I'll create a folder on my C drive called FFmpeg. I'll hit enter, and let's put it in there. I'll save it. Now I'll go to that folder on my computer. I'm at CFFmpeg. This is the download. Let's right click on it, and I'll click extract all. I'll just extract. Now we've unzipped this folder here. Where I like to do is go into it. Just keep double clicking into it. Then when you're at this level with the bin doc include in lib, select everything. Let's copy it, and let's just paste it back up at that higher level. So I'll go back up to the FFmpeg directory, and I'll just paste it here. I'll delete the zip and the other folder. So in our FFmpeg directory, we have these folders here. Now the bin folder contains the executables. So if we click into this, here are the executables we can type. Now let's open up a command line here. So you can type search CMD and just hit enter. If I go to some random directory in my computer, I'd like to be able to type FFmpeg and have it run. So let's hit enter here and you'll see it doesn't work. This is because when you type commands in Windows, it only looks in certain directories to find those commands. The list of those directories is in the path environment variable. So we can easily edit this variable. Once again, go to your search box here. I'm going to start typing environment and you'll see this option here to edit the system environment variables. Let's click this. On the advanced tab here, I'll press environment variables. Now down here under system variables, let's scroll down. Here we have the path. So I'll edit this. Now what I'll do is I'll go back to my file explorer here and I'll copy this bin directory. So we want this whole thing, C colon FFmpeg bin. Let's bring that in here. I'll hit new and let's paste it in here and let's hit OK. I'll press OK again. OK to close this. Now if we go here, it's still not going to work right now. FFmpeg, still not found. We just have to open up a new terminal. I can close this. Let's go back to our search bar. Run it again. And now from any directory, if I type FFmpeg and hit enter, if you see all this text here, that means it's installed. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.